Plot twist of the century, Joe and I are headed to Vegas right now. I have no idea where we're going or what we're doing. Joe has planned everything and he's surprising me every step of the way, but he can't keep a surprise now. Just like me, baby. So he's gonna start listing hotels in Vegas because I don't know the hotels there because I've never really been. And then at the end of it, I'm gonna guess which one I think we're staying at. MGM, the Luxor, Bally's, the Bellagio. The Venetian, the Flamingo, Paris, the Stratosphere, the Wynn, the Cosmopolitan, uh, the Circus Circus. I'm not gonna be able to retain anymore. Okay. Bellagio. No. Damn, the Wynn. No. Wow. Name him again? <laughs> Surprise, bitch. I'm not telling you anything. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah, I'm not telling you. Oh. Our first stop, a circus themed casino. It's called Circus Circus. Dude, this looks like I'm about to get butt and murdered. I had your kids, had your wife. Well, we only live once. Man, this place is looking dusty. It's lots of fun, though. Looks like we're almost here. <laughs> Liar. Almost Are we there. staying at Walgreens? We're staying at the Venetian. That was my first guest, was it not? Bellagio. Well, sorta. Time for a room tour, baby. Oh, I remember my first room tour. And then I kind of blew it and didn't really vlog the rest of the trip to Vegas. And I've been kicking myself for it. I feel like you can get so wrapped up in the expectation of how you want things to be that you lose yourself in the moment and you don't get to enjoy life while you're living it. And I think it's really important that we all like take a pause sometime and remember that the main blessing is getting to live life and everything else is extra. Granted, it's very easy to say that from the comfort of this massage chair that I've been sitting in for three hours while I cut this video, but I feel like it's it can be so easy to get wrapped up in results and work and chasing a dream that eventually you find yourself at the end of your life wondering if you truly lived. And I personally don't wanna make it to my last day with bowels full of four month old poo poo and a 600 day attendance record, but never having experienced the true joy of just existing and loving and being, so. Psst, you wanna make lasagna? You ain't nothing but a dog player, I get it. Frog player, I get it. Um, welcome back to the kitchen. Today we're gonna make some Liz on ya. Could you get some Liz on ya? Is that too much for you to handle? I don't know. Use the vlog camera, he said. It'll be fun, he said. Ugh, am I in frame? Let's do this. <laughs> Not okay. To make this lasagna, I'm looking at the instructions on all recipes and they are boasting that this is the world's best. So if it is anything less, I am straight up going to all recipes and setting the fucking building on fire. And that's not a threat, that's a fucking promise. Granted, I think I should give them a bit of leniency considering I don't have exactly what I'm supposed to have to make this. The first step mentions a Dutch oven. I don't have one of those. And then I'm not doing fennel or pepper because fennel I think is gross and my Billy Doe can't handle pepper. Other than that, if this recipe sucks, we write at dawn and we set all recipes ablaze. With just a glance. Not okay. Okay, so now I'm going to preheat my oven to 375 degrees and I'm going to get a big ass pot of water so that I can make my lasagna nudes. Let's boil this up. We're gonna do it on super boil. And not that anybody told me to do this, but I'm also gonna add like a splash of olive oil to my salty water. I don't have a reason for that, it just feels right. Icky Wajikowski! From my experience, this water takes forever to boil. So I'm gonna start boiling the water and then I'm gonna do step one, which is the Dutch oven. Dutch oven! <laughs> I've already failed, whatever, come for me. 
where we're gonna cook the sausage, the ground beef, onion, garlic, and over medium heat until browned. And then we're gonna stir in the crushed tomatoes, tomato paste, tomato sauce, and water. And then season with sugar, basil, and fennel seeds. Except for no fennel seeds, because we're not sick f**ks. Italian seasoning, salt, pepper. No pepper, because Billy does a bitch. And two tablespoons of parsley, which I did get a full bush of, because as we're all aware, you can't just buy the pinch that you need. <laughs> Use a vlog camera, Ryland said. It'll be easier, Ryland said. Will you shoot some like Guy Ritchie stuff of me pulling out my goggles and putting them on? What's that? Crash zooms. Okay. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> Dope. Not okay. Half a cup mint. <laughs> oh my god! I just almost lost my life to this pee pee puddle. Holy Bro, this little mother peeing all over the place trying to take his mama's life. Could have killed me. When did you find the time to do this, bro? And those onions are minced. Bobo, it's me in the cupboards. Ah! We're gonna mince the garlic. This morning when I went to Orange Theory, the girl that was next to me uh, throughout the whole workout clearly had Ryland's issues with garlic because when she was like turning her head towards me to huff and puff, it was so pungent and stanky that I was like on the brink of asking her to please breathe in another direction. And I know that that's harsh and I didn't want to say like, you got stanky breath girl, but like, did she not know? I feel like if my breath smelled like that, I'd know. Like, there's not a world in which you don't know when your breath is that rank. Like, your mouth's got to feel some type of way. It's so stinky that it's got to have, like, a feeling accompanied with it. Now I'm going to start cooking my meats. And I'm just going to do it on a regular pan over the stove because I don't have a Dutch oven. Dutch oven! One pound of sweet Italian sausage and three quarters pound of lean ground beef. Oh no, was any of that on camera? Not okay. How am I supposed to get anything done when there's a dog here that needs to be booped? Boop that snoot. Let's go, boys. Woo woo. Woo woo. Sometimes I want to rip my f***ing teeth out and throw them against the walls because these dogs are so cute. I can't stand it. I love you. Stop it. Get some help. I put in the onions and the garlic first. That felt like the right thing to do. Because I don't have a Dutch oven. Dutch oven! I don't know how Dutch ovens Dutch oven. work. This will have to do. I put my meats in there, mixed them up, and I'm going to put a lid on it. Because I feel like maybe the lid is Dutch ovening it. Maybe I should Google what Dutch ovening means. Stand by. Okay, I Googled it. The Dutch oven thing is basically like you set it and forget it. So this cook on its own now, and I'm free to grate cheese. And our water is boiling. So I'm gonna add the lasagna noodles to it. I'm gonna cook the pasta for nine minutes. A couple weeks ago, I put my hair up in a video with Ryland. Oh, I did say I had an apron, didn't I? Did you lie? And a lot of people in the comment section were like, why did she put her hair up like that? And I wanna know, like what? Is there something weird about what I'm doing? So in the comment section below, please tell me what's weird about the way I put my hair up. Cause I'd like to know. Thank you. Now I'm going to slice the ricotta cheese. Mozzarella. Cutting it like Kendall Jenner. All right, so the meat is brown and now I'm gonna add in my tomato shits. And then I'm gonna add in the sugar, parsley, water, basil, Italian seasoning, and one teaspoon salt. Well, shit. it has come to my attention that I'm supposed to let this sauce sit for one and a half hours. And here's the deal, guys. It is 6.17 on a Saturday night in the summer. Hot as shit. I'm hungry. My stomach's growling, grumbling. I'm not going to wait that long. I am going to take this sauce now and do with it what I must. Do you hear me? Because my oven's preheated and I'm preheated. It's dinner time. All the power to a bitch who can wait one and a half hours. I am not 
now, nor have I ever been that girl. I hope I have a long life ahead of me in which one day I get to try what it's like to be that girl. But as of right now, like, I'm this girl. Like, this is my kitchen. These are my dogs. I don't have an hour and a half. Not okay. Wow, I have more beef with all recipes. It says, in a mixing bowl, combine ricotta cheese with egg, remaining parsley, and half teaspoon of salt. What the f does remaining parsley mean? Like, do they know I bought a whole ass bush? Hold on, okay. Four tablespoons total of chopped parsley. I put two in the sauce already, so that means two more tablespoons. Whew! All recipe, your building was almost up in flames right then, dog. Like, you got off easy, player. Don't fing play with me. Not okay. I'm so tired that I'm sorry for this. Um, I'm sorry for this. Consider this my apology video. And I can't believe it took me this long to um, say this to you guys, but I'm sorry for me, for you, for me. It was a long week in Vegas. That's two tablespoons of parsley, chopped fresh. That is 16 ounces of ricotta, half a teaspoon of salt, one egg. And why do the French only use one egg to make an omelet? Because one egg is enough and the parsley's at the bottom all right as i'm editing this video i feel like we need a little bit of like a commentary while i do this uh, next building of the lasagna bit so here i am you're gonna go ahead and spread one and a half cups of meat sauce in the bottom of a nine by 13 inch baking dish I've actually never made this Then before. you're gonna arrange six noodles lengthwise Personally, over meat yeah, sauce. Spread it. with one half of the okay. ricotta cheese so mixture. Stop it then. then top with a third of mozzarella cheese slices. Before you spoon another one and a half cups of mozzarella, oh, of meat sauce over the mozzarella. Excuse me, I misspoke, I'm getting a massage. And then sprinkle a quarter cup of Parmesan cheese over that last meat layer. And then you're gonna repeat the layers and top with the remaining mozzarella cheese and parmesan cheese. Great, you love cheese. the fly over the meat sauce. That's it, that's all you do. Yeah, girl! She's almost ready. Now I'm gonna cover this bitch with tin foil and put her in the oven. Felt that really slide forward because that bitch is heavy as fuck. I hope it's okay. Not okay. Ava sent me kind of a sexy text and was like, make sure you're not biting the chocolate but letting it melt in your mouth. Ava, they're so good, bro. Mm. So good. If you haven't checked out Ava's Delights yet, check them out. Get the raspberries in. I'm living. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, her. Jeez. All right, it's everybody's favorite time. Billy Doe taste test. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, here we go. That's a big bite. I know, you don't have to do the whole thing. But you probably will because you're a weird snake. My hand hood's on the table. Don't do the whole thing. Mm, 8.2. 8.2? 8.2. Wow. I like that. Getting okay. better. This is my first time lasagna -ing. By the way, lasagna -ing. Do you see what's happening? Okay. <laughs> okay. At 8.2 for me. I've clicked out. I'm gonna try it now. Damn. Hot. Mm. Oh my God. It's so good. Thank God there's 12 servings of this because I'm going to be eating it all fucking bitch. It's so hot. God, I feel bad for threatening Allstate. What's it called? All recipe. Y'all are safe. I will not be burning down your house because I am so fucking tired and so carb loaded up that it is bedtime right now. Thank you for sharing this recipe with the world. It might be the best. It might be. I haven't tried any other ones. This is my first time making lasagna and it is definitely the best lasagna I have ever made. And that's it. That's 
the whole shebang. I hope you guys spend the rest of your week blissed out, enjoying this thing called life. Come back next week. It's gonna be a fun hodgepodge vlog because I'm going out of town this weekend, so I'm gonna cut it early and just sort of mix in a bunch of like vloggy stuff from my life that you haven't seen yet, including Mr. Bubs going on a date. And I asked you guys on my Instagram what you thought I should make next week, and uh, you win. I'm gonna make easy buffalo chicken meatballs. See you next Tuesday.